Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinker's Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and this is a tutorial on how to make a quantum capsule using the Layla Q block. Uh, a friend of mine today asked me uh, you know, how to go out about making them and, and links to supplies and things like that and I thought I would just whip up a quick video, a tutorial to show him and also anyone else that's interested in, in how to go about making your own. So you know if you go to the website uh, the primary uh, capsules that are available on the Layla Q website right now are for Heal and the Men's Booster and the Women's Booster but if you wanted to make a capsule of let's say the weight loss frequency, the cell and DNA protection frequency, the unity, prosperity, abundance, and all and other types of frequencies, then, you know, by all means, you can make your own. Uh, and the, But the only caveat is you're going to need a Q block or an infinity block to do so. And, and that's it. For those of you who own these, this is the instructions for you. Okay, so the main thing that uh, I've learned over time is that the, the best practice is really the, my best tips for you is just make a neutral capsule. And I'm, all of my capsules right now, because uh, I haven't switched to this way of doing things, but all of my capsules right now are frequency specific, meaning I put the frequency in the capsule itself. But, you know, going forward, though, I'm actually going to be making just one neutral capsule and adding frequencies one at a time or taking away uh, using foil instead. It just seems it's just a much better way. That way I don't end up with like, you know, I, like I have right now, I literally have a dozen or more different capsules and I've got them in little baggies with labels. And so I don't remember, I don't forget which ones are what, but uh, you know, it is a lot easier, I believe, going forward if you just had one capsule of neutral frequency and then you can, I mean, neutral energy, and then you could change and swap out frequencies based using the foil. So it just makes much more sense to do it that way. So that's my, my tips for you. Uh, make a neutral capsule, use foil for your frequency, uh, you know, and then, then the main thing though is charging each item separately so you don't blend uh, the frequencies of the items together because if you're using, let's say, a brass capsule and a titanium sphere, you don't want to charge them together. Otherwise, you're going to have, they're going to mix and you're going to have, you know, titanium spheres with brass frequency and so forth. So, so you just want to keep everything separate so it's nice and clean and it just stays much more organized. Now, if you do uh, for charging times, if you have a Q block, uh, then you're going to want to charge your items separately for three minutes. Uh, if you have an infinity block, you'll want to charge for one minute. And it's as simple as that in terms of uh, how fast it goes. It goes very quickly. Now, the specific question I was asked was, uh, you know, what size uh, capsules do I get? Uh, and how many spheres and what size spheres. So I'm going to walk you through that. The one on the left here in the picture is the Layla Heel Capsule. Uh, this thing is about four and a half centimeters uh, uh, tall and about one and a half centimeters wide. Uh, and, and so now uh, that's the original one that I got. And I found it to be a little large for me, you know, about in terms of something hanging off of my, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it was a little large for me. And it's a personal preference. So when I started making my own, I decided to go with this other size capsule. Uh, and and really, I kind of like it. It's about four. It's about five centimeters tall and about uh, about a one and yeah, about a full millimeter. Uh, I'm sorry, centimeter wide. And so uh, there's definitely a difference because it's it's narrower, right? Uh, in terms of how many spheres it can hold. But I just you know it's it's a personal preference. Uh, if you want, if if you're going to be making your own, I just want to point out that uh, you know your the size of the capsule is up to you. Also, the type of metal you use is up to you. Now, I'm just using brass because when I got the brass heel capsule, it really resonated with me. I, I Up until then, I had tried steel. I had tried uh, aluminum, obviously. I had tried... Uh, uh, yeah, this other one uh, it was steel. I forget, but I tried a bunch of different metals, and I just you know once, I, I, but I never tried brass, and I really it just feels warm, you know, this warm vibration from it. So I like brass, and so but but all mean by all means though, you guys can try any kind you want. I actually made my daughter. Uh, I found a capsule that was made out of sterling silver, and I filled it full of silver. Uh, pure silver cut wire uh, as the filler, you know, uh, and, and I gave that to her and she absolutely loves it. I tried to give her an aluminum one with titanium spheres and she hated it. Uh, and so she just didn't, you know, didn't resonate with her. So metal is going to be a very personal thing. Uh, and so for me, I'm, I'm just going with brass. And so that's that's the concept there. So for, you know, for nomenclature's sake, this I'm just going to refer to this size as the Layla Q size and this size as a small. Okay, so it's smaller. Uh, and so that's that. So now how many spheres will go into each one of these? The Layla Q uh, uh, capsules uh, will fit five eight-millimeter spheres right here. So whoop, back up. It'll fit five eight-millimeter spheres. 
and, and I'll show you where you can get those, okay? Now, the small one will only fit four of the eight millimeter spheres. Uh, and in this, in this example, I've actually, I'm actually using brass spheres. Uh, it's just kind of one of my tinks. I wanted to see what a brass sphere, brass capsule felt like, you know, and I actually really like it. Uh, but it only will fit four because it's much more narrow. I mean, in terms of the cap on this puppy comes down to about here. So it really cuts off the space so you can fit spheres. However, I do have four millimeter spheres of titanium on hand. Uh, and the Layla Q spheres are titanium, by the way. And so I have titanium spheres in four millimeter size. And I did discover that you can fit up to six of those also inside of one of these small. So it's either going to fit four of the eight millimeter spheres or it's going to fit six of the four millimeter spheres. So those are your kind of your, your choices there. Uh, so you, you know, completely up to you what size spheres you want to put in there. Uh, but just to kind of give you an example, if you pick this size of capsule, then this is how many spheres of that size are going to go in it. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And I'll, I'll show you here uh, in a sec where to get the supplies. Now, so basically the steps are really very simple. One, just charge the capsule, charge the spheres. Two, three, charge, um, create a frequency foil, and then wrap that foil around one of the spheres to add a frequency to the neutral capsule, and boom, you've got it. So let me kind of just walk you through it. I just did a really quick cell phone video just to sort of demonstrate. So as an example, let's say this is an empty sphere or capsule put it in the Q block, three minutes, you're good to go. That thing is now charged with neutral quantum energy. Then the next thing you want to do is take your spheres and always be sure to, you know, I use the paper towel because they're going to roll away guaranteed. So you put your spheres in there and then you want to charge your spheres, put them in there for three minutes and then take them out. And then you're done. So now you've got spheres and a capsule. They didn't blend with each other. Uh, and they've now fully charged quantum energy. And you could just wear that. That's just pure quantum energy. And it actually has quite a bit of a benefit if you look at some of the test results. Now, if you want to create a frequency, you want to add frequency to it. You take a substance, and that's just an example of a substance, and a little tiny piece of foil. That's it. You put it in there for three minutes, and the molecular frequency of the substance will transfer to the piece of foil, and now you've captured that frequency of the, of the substance, and, and you've now got it onto the foil. Now, you can take that little pill or whatever. You, still can, you can still ingest it, okay, by the way. It's perfectly fine. So now you've got the foil. The foil holds the frequency, and then you take one of your spheres, and you wrap the foil around the sphere, Okay. And that's it. And that's and then you put all the spheres back into your capsule and you're done. And you basically have now taken a neutral capsule and you've added a frequency to it. Now, if you decide in the future that you want to change out the frequency, you just take the foil off, add another piece of foil that you've charged with something else. And now you've changed this. You, you, you have one standard capsule that you can mix and match foil all the time. It's kind of like back in the day, right? Those mood rings where you could just change the different colors. <laughs> and so that's how you do it. And now you can, instead of the, now, one other thing I want to caveat is that let's say you don't you don't want to use a substance. You actually want to use one of the frequency cards that you bought. Same exact concept. You put the frequency card into the Q block with the piece of foil, and now the frequency on the card has transferred to the foil, and then that's how you add it to your neutral capsule. And that's it. And then you've got yourself a uh, you know a, a, a now you've got a quantum capsule with whatever frequency you've desired so now let me kind of walk you through the different uh, websites uh ebay is where i'm, I'm going to put all the links in the video description below for you so here you go uh this is ebay now uh this uh, the link for ebay is going to be to this it's it's actually three different ones and you want to order the the medium one is the one i was showing which is the layla q size and it's only 8.99 free shipping okay so you want to get a medium size uh brass capsule which will be the layla q size capsule Eight ninety nine. Okay, now if you want to um, get the smaller one and create your own smaller ones, they're only three dollars each or three dollars nine cents each. Uh, and here's the website or the eBay listing for that. And so you can get that size one for uh, for the smaller ones if you decide to go with that size. Um, and then to get the titanium spheres, uh, believe it or not, this is one of the rare. You know, it's the only place I can find in the U.S. It's crazy. It really is the only site I can find in the U.S. that sells it. There, there's a couple of industrial sites, but they're in Europe. But anyway, so it's simple. Just go to Etsy, <laughs> go to this this website. Uh, they sell titanium spheres. Okay, and you have to select the option. So right here is your drop down. And so now, if you want the four millimeter spheres, it translates to five thirty seconds of an inch. Uh, and so you get a ten pack, right? 
for whatever. So if I were to click that, a 10 pack of four millimeters spheres uh, would go 842. So I could, you know, I need six, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're four millimeters. So I need, I would need six of those puppies. Uh, and so then I would buy a 10 pack of that. Now, if I decide to go with the eight millimeter spheres, which is five sixteenths of an inch or 7.99, close enough, right? And if I pick that puppy, then a 10 pack, right? 10 pack of, of these eight millimeter spheres are going to go for 1467 so it's relatively inexpensive uh you know the 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 value of it's the actual frequency right and and the effort in in into making these things in uh in bulk but this is how you do it for yourself uh if you own a, a q block or an infinity block that's it that's how you make them so thank you very much for this uh, uh, watching this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, come on down to the to the you know the the power uh, qu uh, the quantum power group on Telegram, uh, where you can ask all the questions you want on, on anything you need to do uh, as it relates to Layla Q. You can go to the Layla Q website to get frequencies uh, and the links below again uh, for the supplies. There you go. And if you want to get a hold of me, ask me any questions at all. I'm in that chat room all the time. Or you also can find me at the Tinkers Academy. That's typing tinkers.academy in your URL uh, browser, uh, your window of your browser. And then it goes right to my blog. And that's how you find me. And feel free to contact us at any time. Uh, if you got any questions about how to do this or about any types of frequencies. Um, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Aloha.